Hello everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to the Boost on Midnight movie. I'm your host Donald. My friends decide to have a polar bear contest where they dive into freezing water and then come back ashore. Just to make it more authentic, I remove the latter. Real polar bears don't use those. Tonight's feature is The Ghost, starring Barbara Steele. But before we get to that, we have the next episode of The Great Alaskan Mystery. Last time, Jim Hudson's father discovered a volatile mineral in his mind that turned out to be the key to Dr. Miller's paratron ray. While trying to transport a shipment of the mineral, Jim Hudson's truck is hijacked by brigands. The steering goes out, and before Jim and the bosun can decide to jump, the bosun gets shot, and the truck crashes. Now let's see what happens in Episode 5 of The Great Alaskan Mystery, The Bridge of Disaster. Welcome back, everyone. Tonight we're celebrating Barbara Steele's birthday by screening her movie, The Ghost. It's the story of a woman who plots with her lover, her husband's doctor, to murder her husband. After the deed is done, they worry that the husband's vengeful spirit is haunting them. Because we're celebrating Barbara Steele's birthday, I'm trying to come up with the perfect gift. So I've gathered all my friends to have a seance to see what the spirits suggest. Worst case scenario, a ghost possesses one of my dolls, which would be the perfect present anyway, so this strikes me as a win-win scenario. While we're performing Unholy Rites, sit back and enjoy 1963's The Ghost. Tonight we're featuring the Barbara Steele vehicle, The Ghost, in celebration of the legendary screen figure's birthday. Born December 29, 1937 in Birkenhead, England, Steele is best known for her work in Italian horror films like Black Sunday, The Long Hair of Death, and Castle of Blood. She also starred in David Cronenberg's first sync sound feature, Shivers. While she's best known for her horror work, she was also featured in Fellini's classic Eight and a Half, and in 1988, won an Emmy as a producer of the miniseries War and Remembrance. I think Steele is at her best in roles like the one in tonight's feature, where she's allowed to be both victim and villain, a confluence which, unless Ravenloft for second edition AD&D misled me, is the heart of gothic storytelling. She's able to convey a sympathy-inducing sense of innocence and then turn on a dime to display a venomous vindictiveness. And that moment of revenge is always a delicious victory to behold. And now, we return to the second half of The Ghost, starring Barbara Steele. Ah, uh, one person leaves laughing and paralyzed, the other dies kicking behind a bookshelf. Don't you love a good romance? And now, a look at next week's feature. A peaceful wintry community faces the worst kind of invasion. Pinks. I need a job, Tony. How will our Yeti hero triumph over the forces trying to rob it of slack? Find out in Snow Beast on the Busan Midnight Movie. We got it! The sheriff himself shot it right between the eyes. We're bringing it in. Doesn't that look like fun? Plus, I found the perfect gift for Miss Steele. I just had to use my head, or somebody's. But that brings us to the end of tonight's episode. Please like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed yourself. And until next week, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.